religion of the only lesson. Today's first holy lesson shall be taken from Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to the end. I repeat, Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to the end. I read, And I saw a new heaven in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. I read, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more. There was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, abundant as for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven say, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Never shall there be any more Sorry. Any more pain for the former things are passed away. Hmm. And he sat and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that will overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Be the faithful and unbelieving and the abnormable, abnormable and murderers who and who mongers are scorers and idolaters and all liars shall have their parts in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of seven glass plates and talked with me saying, Come, hither I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great spirit, that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall, a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and all the gates were twelve angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And all the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the lion is as large as the breedeth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth of where the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, and hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is of the angel, and the golden of the wall of it was a jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass, clear glass, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all the all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a shallow city, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh crystal, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth a crystal caress. The eleventh agents, the top and amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every every several gates was one of the pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, and it was transparent glass. This is the end of the lady. Amen. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen.
Today's first free members prayer shall only be taken by one person, which shall be um, our Uncle Bingo.
Father, Lord, King of Glory, and Father, Maker, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. We give you all adoration, Lord, you, Lord. because you're the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords, you're the Alpha and Omega. Oh, yes. You're the Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Adonai. Oh, yes. You're the generator, operator, and destroyer of all things. Oh, yes. Father, Lord, take all glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, you've heard out the first and second person has prayed, Almighty Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, Lord, we will keep on testifying and we'll keep on praising you, Almighty Lord. Amen. Because you're the El Shaddai, you're the Elohim. Oh, yes. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this blessed day. 
Father Lord, we thank you, Lord, because the plan of Satan did not come to pass. Oh, yes. Father Lord, we glorify your name, we worship you. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you are here with us. Oh, yes. We thank you, Lord, because you are guiding us. Oh, we thank yes. you, Lord, because you are leading us. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, because you are our shepherd. Thank you, Father Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you are the solution behind all solutions. Oh, yes. Father Lord, take all glory, take all adoration. Amen. Father Lord, we come here in one accord. You say where there's two or three people gathered in oh, your yes. name. You said you will be present. Oh, yes. Father Lord, and I know we are more than two or three. Yes. Father Lord, and we are here because of you. We are here in your name. Oh, yes. Father Lord, King of glory, come and manifest your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, even though your children have come here sleeping, Father Lord, I waken the spirit that's sleeping within them Amen. in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, King of Glory, Alpha and Omega, if we see all unwanted spirit that has followed uh, uh, that has followed us, us here today, Father Lord, come and go against them in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray for the mighty power. We pray for the divine power from above in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, King of Glory, Alpha and Omega, if we see any spirit that wants to test if we see any spirit that wants to test us because we are of you almighty lord because you said if we call the name of jesus you would answer us father lord and we are using the name of jesus to pray i say blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus come and cleanse us now in the mighty name of jesus father lord as the service continues Father Lord, King of Glory, come and dwell in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, if we see any spirit of temptation, if we see any spirit that wants to destroy in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, to oh, oh, to Father Lord, King of Glory, because we trust in you, Almighty Lord. You said if we have faith as little as mustard seed, you said you would manifest your power. And I believe everybody in this premises right now has this faith. Father Lord, come and manifest your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, everything, everything we ask for today, Almighty Lord. Father Lord, come and manifest your power. Father Lord, everything that needs to be broken, oh Father, let it be broken. Amen. Everything that needs to be rebuilt, oh Father, let it be rebuilt. Amen. Father Lord, everything that we need in life, everything that we need in this you year, Father Lord, that we haven't received in order for us to be glorious, in order for us to be happy, in order for us to be successful. Father Lord, give us these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, allow your power manifest. Amen. Allow your power manifest. Amen. Allow your power manifest. Amen. We bring the soldiers of Christ into your hands, Almighty Lord. Amen. Father Lord, as you have gathered them, if we see anybody that wants to scatter them, Father Lord, go against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, go against them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, the seraph from heaven, the cherubims from heaven, Father Lord, let them dwell in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we call your power to descend. 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 Every soul that stepped in today, by Saturday, let us testify. By Saturday, let us testify. Because you said we should open our mouth and you shall fill it. You said we should ask. You said seek and you shall find. Father Lord, we are seeking. Father Lord, let us find greatness. Amen. Let us find greatness. Amen. Let us find greatness. Amen. Let us find favor. Amen. Let us find mercy. Amen. Let us find favor. Amen. Let us find victory. Amen. Father Lord, King of Glory, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. You, because you said in every situation we should worship you. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We anoint your mighty Lord. We give you all the glory. We Amen. give you all the adoration. Amen. Father Lord, come and continue to be with us Amen. now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we shall forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ma 
Et bien là, va t'en que nous voilà, y est le monde, ou on l'a battu, on a mis pour les kilés. A déjà des matons, on l'a battu. Et bien là, on doit sortir les sangs. On l'a remis en haut, lui. On l'a dit, nous, il s'agit, il y a l'autre, on l'a mis à bas. On l'a dit, on l'a dit, on l'a dit, on l'a dit. Il s'est dit qu'il n'y a pas d'avoir l'air. Ah, mon Dieu, c'est sûr. Elle n'est qu'une équipe de droit. 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 Ah, mon Dieu, c'est sûr. Quand les mains ont été ajoutées. Ah, oui. Ni bata ba pari se yi. Lourou ko Jésu. Ogo to bala ra. Ma du pala sa yi wa mo. Ah, mon Dieu, c'est sûr. Ogo a fini che si. Olo a rey dano. Ah, mon Dieu, c'est sûr. Jésu, olo a wa. Hallelujah! Oh, son of a Yeah! Oh, God! Next, we'll have a song ministration taken by Major Samson Shelfie. Song ministration? Okay. We have a lot of songs for Samson. Hallelujah! Because of time, so that people can go to their various homes, not too late. Let us share, put in time to whatever you do. The main thing is the reviver. Reviver. So why we are here, God bless you. Please, let us go. Don't get carried away. God bless you. Continue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And where you are, I just want you to start with a prayer point. Start with a prayer point. Tell God that God has come to meet you in this revival. This is what I am expecting from you, Lord, in revival. If there's someone that can interpret, please. This is what I'm expecting from you, Father Lord. I'm about to praise you, King of Kings. I'm about to praise you, Lord of Lords. Father Lord, this is what I'm expecting from you. Open your mouth, pray to God, do not look at me. You should have testimonies that in this revival program I received this. Jesus, Oluwawa, Ami, 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 Jesus, as army of salvation. That amen is too weak for God. Ami, I could not bear it. Jesus, Oluwawa, Ami, 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 Jesus. Oko, Oko, Kari, Oko. Ala do do ma o ya o.
hand up to your neighbor. Ask him, what can you not do for me, O Lord? The impossible that makes possible. The greatest I am, the King of Kings. Good of any name you want to call him. Focus on him right now. Tell him, Lord, I have worshipped. Tell him, Lord, I have praised you. Now, Father, I have asked you.
of today's revival it's a new beginning you see when we are titling revivals amen amen i want everybody to be in spirit because at this type of gathering the devil will try to intervene let me tell you something every plan that God did in the Bible he did not hide it from the devil everything that God displayed in the Bible the devil was aware of it because there is a statement behind that that whatever it is that God sets upon earth no matter if the devil is looking left or looking right no matter if the devil is trying to compete God will always be victorious Amen. 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 Oh Heavenly Father, we praise your name, we glorify your name, Lord. Father, we just want to say thank you. My God, we praise your name because you've allowed our coming here today to be one of purpose. Father, we just want to say thank you. Father Lord, as we go into your word in the name of Jesus, go with us. Amen. Father Lord, as we enter into this realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus, come and lead us. Amen. Father Lord, we decree and we declare in the name of Jesus, Lord, you have called this a new beginning. Father Lord, we decree and we declare, let us enter into our new beginning. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but me, I have entered into my own new beginning. I want you to say to someone next to you, into your own new beginning. Tell your person next to you, tell your neighbor, I have entered into my own new beginning. Say to your neighbor, I have entered into my own new beginning. So I've entered into my own new beginning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Okay, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My God is good. All the time. And all the time, my God is good. New beginning. 
New beginning. New beginning. You know what we're going to do? We want to stand up. I want everybody to stand up. Because I'm not going to spend too much time. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give everybody a charge. Don't worry. If you don't know, if you don't want to, it's fine. But those that will receive the new beginning will stand up. Yes. If you believe that you've entered into your new beginning, if you believe that you have marked a new covenant today with God, and you believe that that new covenant will be one of purpose, yes. and you believe that that new covenant will be one of good fruit, and you believe that is a covenant that will mark your destiny I want you to stand up on your feet praise the Lord hallelujah new beginning we're going to do this service for real kiss now yes amen because I've received my instructions from above and they said that I should do it like how we do it in Nigeria. Yes. I don't know about I don't know about you, but I've been to Nigeria. And I've gone to an Oriokei service, a mountain service. And they do not they do not even burn you where to sit down. Because when the Holy Spirit is moving, those that are sick will receive healing. Because when the Holy Spirit is moving, everything that you're looking for, God will begin to give it unto you. Yeah. But you see, there are some people when the Holy Spirit is moving and, and they are comfortable. Let me tell you something. It's always a joy to be in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Because when the Holy Spirit descends, let me tell you something. That there is something that God brings down. Yes. You see, when we come to these gatherings, we do not know who it's for. But I believe that I am a partaker in this new beginning. Say to yourself that I am a partaker in this new beginning. Say to yourself that I am a partaker in this new beginning. Amen. Amen. I want someone to go to that holy lesson for us. Revelation chapter 21. And I want us to read from that verse 1. We're going to go straight. We're not going to waste any time. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Get your combat car. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven. And I saw a new heaven, yes? And a new earth. And a new earth. For the first heaven. For the first heaven. And the first earth. And the first earth. Were passed away. Was passed away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you are in a new beginning. Let me even take you back. Let's go back. Let's go deeper. We're going to go deeper. The Bible makes us understand one thing. You see, as God created the heavens and the earth in the beginning, the world was in a form. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The world was in a form. And in that form, there was sin that was birthed inside it. Are you with me? And when that sin decided to enter into the world that was made in the beginning, yes. then things started to go wrong. If you follow the story of the Bible, you see that God even predestined that look, the world will be in a world of sin. But I will come in the revelation and I will declare a new world. A new if you are reading from Abamika, that's okay. Yes? And I saw a new heaven. And I saw a new heaven. And a new earth. And a new earth. For the first heaven uh -huh. and the first earth. And the first earth were passed away. Was passed away. And there was no more sea. And there was no more what? Sea. And there was no more sea. Amen. You may be seated. Sit down. Uh huh, mommy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Amen. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that scripture says there. 
that the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. Amen. Amen. And if you look, Bami, if you can read from that verse 3, read from that verse 3 for me, please. And I heard a great voice. And I heard a great voice saying, Out of heaven. Yes. Behold, the tabernacle of God uh -huh. is with men. It's with men, and, yes. And he will dwell with them. And he will dwell with them, yes. And they shall be his people. And they shall be, amen. Amen. In my own new beginning. God is declaring something for us. God is saying that he will dwell with you and I because the first heaven and earth that was passed away there were some people that was not able to inherit God's promise. Are you following me? In the first heaven and earth that was passed away the people that were committing sin the people that did not listen to the word of God people that were not listening to the voice of the Lord. They were not able to inherit the promise of Jesus. God is now saying that I will set a tabernacle in my new heaven and earth. And the people that will be amongst that new heaven and earth will hear my own voice. Hello, we can say amen. In the name of Jesus, in your own new beginning, you will hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. Oh, get a joy on your daddy. That prayer is not clear. They did not understand that prayer. Okay, Let me tell you something. It's not about miracle. It's not about the share share It's not about the world. It's not about the share It's not about the redeeming. It's about a divine intervention with God. It's about creating a relationship with God. Let me tell you something. Man. If you look back in the beginning. Do you know why Abraham was able to move the way he moved? Because Abraham created a relationship with God. You see what I always tell people? I am not perfect. Even I am in sin. You and I are not perfect. But every day I'm looking to always revitalize, a, a, revive myself and create that relationship with God. So that when God is speaking to me and the Holy Spirit is speaking to me, I am able to understand what God is telling me. In your own new beginning, everything that you want to do, God will begin to reveal it unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just going to give us a charge. I'm not going too much deep into the word. If you look into that story of Abraham, if you understand one thing about the story of Abraham, look, Abraham was in a house, his family line was of failures. He was his family line were failures. They failed in everything that they did. Abraham's father started something and could not finish it. His uncle was not even able to give birth to a child. You see, when you're coming from a family that is full of failure, you see, there is something that God wants to make in a point of contact there. From the family line of failures. Abraham, Abraham was the chosen one. And God now said, Do you know what? You. You are not going to be the one that's going to carry this failure. And God said to Abraham, that, Look, if you hearken unto me and you follow me diligently, I will make you a father of many words. A father of many words. Many nations. Ah, have you believed? A father of many words. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, that is a story of a new beginning. I don't need to go into what Abraham did to become a father of many words. If you look at another story, you look at the story of Joseph. What did God do for Joseph? Look, let me tell you something. If you're following me, you understand the purpose of a new beginning. 
when God takes you out of a situation and God changes your whole story and God changes your whole destiny you now understand that I am walking in a new beginning do you believe that you can walk in your own new beginning if you, if you believe just write up your hand Honest, I want to see everyone's right hand. If you believe that, oh, you, what? So, what? if you believe you know, that you can walk in a new beginning, raise your hand. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that the same way you came into this place tonight, the new door of destiny that's supposed to open for you. The new pathway that's supposed to open for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall receive it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look, let's look back at that story of Joseph. The Bible says that he became a slave. Amen. Amen. Did I just say that God is the changer of stories? God is the changer of destiny. It is only God that can construct where you're going. There is no other power that can do it. Amen. 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 Are we here? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God took a, God took Joseph from being a slave. From being a prisoner. To becoming a prime minister. Amen. Amen. Do you know what God did with Joseph? Joseph was in a prison. Joseph was in a prison. Do you know what the prison? You see. I'm walking in my new beginning. I'm walking in my new beginning. If you understand that story, the prison that was Cajun got Joseph's glory. That same prison that was closing and caging Joseph's glory. The door of that prison opened. And Joseph was able to walk into his new glory. A lot of us sitting down here. You've been caged in your own. You allowed the world to close and cage you and cage your potential. Even you've allowed the world to even cage your anointing. You've allowed the world to imprison you in captivity. Let me tell you the thing that is caging everybody now. Look, there are more, there's multiple people here, and the, the most significant problem that they're facing. Mental health. Ah, I'm You know, you think I'm going to say wizards and wizards? No, I'm not going to say witches and wizards. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are multiple problems we are facing. I want. The biggest problem that we're facing, Daddy. One of the biggest problems is mental health. What the what the enemy can do? The enemy can manipulate your circumstances. The enemy can take that same position that you're in and make you feel like you cannot do anything. Which is a reason as to what Joseph himself. He did not allow his circumstances to define him. And what did God do? What did God do? Someone tell me what did God do? To what did God do to Joseph? Praise the Lord. I want, us, I want us to be interactive. What did God do with Joseph? God was able to pick Joseph and choose him. You see, when you are going in your new beginning, the Bible has declared that he has chosen you as a generation. In that book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse verse 9, the Bible says that, look, I have chosen you as my own generation. You, you are my special possession. In order for you to walk in your new beginning, you must become a possession of God. If you are a possession of God, put your hand up. 
Some of you already, you are not even understanding the frequency. Because you do not believe that you are walking in your own new beginning. If you believe that you are a possession of God, and you believe that God is using you, and you believe that you are ready to be used by God, and you believe that you are going to walk in your own new beginning, I want you to shout a big hallelujah. 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 I'm going to be moving as the Holy Spirit is moving. Oh, yes. Let's go into the story of Ruth. This is what the Holy Spirit just told me. Can you understand her own story? Ruth. Amen. Ruth. I mean. This is going to be very, 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 very touching. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said in that story of Ruth, the Bible said in it, Ruth. that Ruth, her husband died. For 10 years, she was without a husband. On top of that, she was even barren. She could not give birth. She could not multiply and be fruitful. Not only was she a widower, she was also, she was also barren. For 10 years. You see, when you're walking in your new beginning, God will take your circumstances. God will take your captivity. And God, and God will use it to define you. Do you know what God did with Ruth? So when Ruth now became barren for 10 years, 10 years, the Bible says that she walked from farm to farm. And she was starting to just harvest the farm and she was sowing. And she was sowing and she was sowing and she was sowing. The Bible now says that there was a particular time as she was sowing. There was a farmer. A farmer. There was a farmer. And that farmer now said to her, Look, that look, let her continue to sow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible now says that as that person was able to see Ruth, he, he goes by the name of Boaz. The Bible says that he was a rich and wealthy man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see in the struggle of Ruth. She was able to she was able to come in contact with her destiny helper. The farmer was just a farmer. Not knowing that that man was a rich and wealthy man. The Bible now says that as they came in contact with each other. That now they now became husband and wife. And the man was rich and wealthy. Now Ruth as she was a servant. She became someone that was now in charge of all the servants. She now married a man that was rich and wealthy. And she was now able to now give birth. After 10 years of suffering, of poverty, of captivity, God was able to change her story. I declare in the name of Jesus. That the story in which you have come to today, God will begin to change it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us all to stand up on our feet. I want someone to go to that book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 43, I believe. Isaiah 43. I want someone to read Isaiah 43 from verse 18 for me, please. Remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness. I will make a way. Just hold it right there for me. Amen. Amen. When you are going into your own new beginning, that says the Lord that do not consider the things of old because I have made a new way for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. 
The reason as to why a lot of you cannot enter into your place of glory. Because the biggest problem you're facing is, is doubt. And a lot of us we lack in faith. But the Bible says that look that he make new things possible. And in those new things he will make and provide a way for you. Can I just say one thing? I say this to people a lot of the time. If you're going through a problem, please speak to your spirit. Do you know why? Because God has deposited something great inside you. You are, a, you are able to speak to that problem you're going through. And you are able to tell that problem, listen. You will not beat me, I will overcome you. I want you to raise up your right hand. I want you to begin to speak to God. I want you to begin to say to God. That God, come and make a new way in my life. My God, come and make a new way in my life. My God, as you did it for Abraham, and you allowed him to have a new beginning, you did it for Joseph, you allowed him to have a new beginning. The woman with the issue of blood, she was suffering for 12 years. You were able to provide a new beginning. My God, I come to you my own problem. I come to you my own story. I come to you my own encampment. My God, come and begin to provide a new way for me. My God, begin to provide a new way for me. Ah, begin to say that prayer. Begin to say that prayer. Begin to say that prayer. My God, begin to provide a new way for me. My God begin to provide a new way for me. My God begin to provide a new way for me. My God begin to provide a new way for me. Brother, Jesus, who are we? Ami, 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 Oka Jesus. Ami, a tutu, o tutu kule dada. Brother, Jesus, who are we? Ami, 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 Oka Jesus. Some of you that are here, you do not even look like you're ready to enter your own new beginning. I will come up with something that will push you. Tell me what you're ready to do. Let me let me tell you something. I just want to talk for you. I am not going to come and speak or pray or do anything like this. Amen. You do not need to make bad words. There will be no point if I don't have faith. You go see, did you come and do it? You and I, there's a purpose as to why we are here. Uh, my brother, did I not say the last time? I said, listen, there is no point us going to revivals or doing revivals if we're not coming with a purpose. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look, I want you to raise forth your right hand. The Bible says that the right hand displays miracles and wonders. The Bible says that the right hand displays power. I want you to begin to say this prayer. That God, in the name of Jesus, the prison that is encamping on me, does not allow me to enter into my own destiny. The prison cage that is encamping on me, that is causing me stagnancy, that is causing me sickness, that is causing me delay, that is not allowing me to be free. My God, come and begin to provide a way for me. My God, begin to provide a way for me. I want to say one last thing. Let's quickly go to the book of Acts, Acts chapter 3. From verse 1 to 3. You do not have to read it. I'm going to narrate the story for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says that look at 3 o'clock. The Bible says that there was a man. 
How can you call out? I think a lot of us know this story. Eh? And if you don't know this story, please refer back to your Bible and read the story. The Bible says that there was a man, he was a lame beggar. How could he come and tell you at that certain level? The Bible says that he was on a mountain at the front gate of a temple. Oh no, I need no okay. The Bible says at exactly three o'clock. The Bible says that look, Peter and John were walking towards the temple to pray. That beggar was now asking Peter and John. He was sitting outside the, the door like this. And the temple, you you, I want to make you understand if you dissect that story. The Bible says that that gate was beautiful. And the man was poor. Some of you are in your own particular, your own in your own problem. Some of you are standing and sitting at your own door of destiny. Some of you, the door that is, some of you, the door that is right next to you that enters into your own glory, you do not even know how to open. It. The Bible says that look, that at three o'clock they were asking. The man was asking Peter or John. Please, do you have silver or gold? Jesus Christ in his spirit spoke through Peter and John. And they said to him that look, Pete, look, silver and gold I do not have. But what I have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise up your right hand. I want you to begin to say this prayer. That God, my own door of destiny, my own door of new beginning, before I leave this place tonight, my God, come and begin to open it. God, I thank you. Because God has spoken to you and I. Just begin to say, God, I thank you. Begin to say, God, I thank you. Master, follow me. Lord, I thank you for today. Lord, I thank you because you've heard my prayer. Because my prayers are. Lord, I give you praise, I give you glory. Thank you, Eshada. Yes, Oluwa. Amen, amen, amen. This person is in the spirit. He was also told that she owned one in Oyinla on dance. And the preaching, and the preaching is so aligned with the revival. He don't fear Eshesi. Oh, the Oluwa so no longer if he wants to. Before the authority, this is exactly what the Lord was saying. Come on, this Saturday, Tamashi. Before Saturday that we do the anniversary. Oh, in the kitchen. Whether you are in the kitchen. Oh, in the toilet. Oh, you are in the toilet. Oh, Lord, you in the Oh, you are walking or driving. Shama so for Lord. Just keep telling the Lord. Oh, wa fa koko shofu. The battle that waste a time, time waster. Oh, wa fa koko shofu. The battle of time waster. Me tu se la pala ye. Me tu se la was so long and. Whenever he wakes, she will carry the chair. And she will be sitting. He will take a wine. All his life he was drinking wine. Lord of authority. This person was sitting at the beautiful gate. But his life was not meaningful. In this man's life was uh, useless. But when he encountered the Holy Spirit, what did he, he woke. In the name of Jesus, today, I have heard the sermon and we prayed. Ah, me just so Christy. The battle of time western. In the life of you and I. Today the heaven burn it down in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Understand, it's not everybody that is ordained or must be successful or must receive victory in life. But because I am a partaker, I don't know about you, but because I have received my glory, because I have received, I have received my victory. I have opened a new chapter in my life. A chapter that is better than the former. Because the former things have passed away, because all things have passed away, and all things have become new. And all things have become new. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! We 
We are going into the small prayer session in which we will be in the spirit and we will do a revival. I will need someone that will work with me. As I say these Bible verses that you will speak with me and we will be in one accord. If we open our eyes, those that are with us in the spirit that they are here. I pray that the victory that me and you need for our life to be greater than before for our life to move to a new level for people to see me and you for them to see that there is a new beginning and a new greatness in our life I know it shall come to pass in Jesus can someone open 1 Peter 1.3 Blessed be God. Blessed be the God. Blessed be the God. And the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jehovah our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy. Because of his great mercy. So where we're gonna stand there, let us close our eyes. And what we're gonna say is this. You know, from the beginning of the year. There is people that were with us at the beginning of the year. They are not here with us. How can you have a new beginning if you're not in the land of the living? There's many people that are in hospital today. There's many people that they are crying and say, why are they even born? There's people that they even cursed the day that they were even given birth to. You. But me and you are here in the land of the living. We're going to say unto God, Father Lord, we thank you. I want you to use your mouth to pray unto God. To give thanks unto God. Two years ago, there was a, a, a pandemic. People were like in a day. They will make plans for tomorrow. The plans of tomorrow they will not meet that plan because they will not see that tomorrow it's not by our part no by our mind. there was millions of millions of souls that were lost people that were family members were crying over them fathers were crying over their children children were crying over their parents Husbands were, pray, were crying over their wives. Wives were crying over their husbands. It's not me on your portion. There were churches that were standing. But they're no longer standing. There was mighty men of God. They are not here today. It's not by power. Not by mind. But by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us say unto God, I thank you. We are doing 26 years anniversary. There's some parents that give birth to their children. They don't go past one year. They don't go past five years. They don't go past seven years. But today, me and you, we are celebrating 26 years. In those 26 years, people that call themselves mighty prophets, they are no longer people that were called the men of God. They are now the, the, the disgrace of God. There's people that will come before and say the word of God. And people will listen to them. But now, the heavens closed unto them. And when they come before you, you don't even want to hear their voice. It's not by power, not by might. Give glory to God. Yes. He has I don't know about you. 
But I have become born again. Now let me tell you something. When something is born again, it has become renewed. It means there is a fresh start. Now you know in life, there may some, they may have, there may be some things that have happened in the past that people still use to look at you. These things can be like an anchor in your life. But when there is a new beginning, those things are no longer. Those things do not count anymore. So we're going to pray unto God. I thank you, Lord. Because the former things that held me down, they are no longer in my life. The former sins I have committed, they have no hold over me. The former decision I have made, they no longer have hold over me. Let us pray to God, Father Lord, I thank you. Ma <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. amen. In Jesus' Jesus name. Yes. To a living hope. To a living hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the dead. From the dead. So we're going to pray. Ask that, Dura. That the death of Jesus Christ in our life. You could just name That should not be in vain. We're going to pray unto God. That God should go to the cornerstone of our lives. He should go to the foundation of our lives. That everything that is dead for good. That must be revived. For there to be a great rejoice in our lives. For me and you to be celebrated. That God should be as our point of view. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Let us pray in I want in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. In Jesus' name. We have four prayer points. Can someone open Isaiah 40? It was Isaiah only 40. 31. Only Ogoji. For they who wait for the Lord. For they that wait for the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. They shall mount up like wings. Like eagles. Like eagles. They shall run. They shall run. And not be weary. And shall not be weary. They shall walk. They shall walk. And not faint. And they shall not faint. So we're going to pray unto God. Because we're doing the um, anniversary of the Salvation Army. God empowered the smallest of the angels. He made the smallest the mightiest. So we're going to pray unto God. That God empower me. The power to overcome the things of the world. The power to do great exploits in the world. The power to overcome all tribulations the power that I will be victorious Father Lord come and go unto me let us be in Jesus mighty name Lord,
I think we need to understand who God is. I want you to just close your eyes. Understand, in life there is always a beginning, yes? In life there is a beginning. The earth had a beginning. And it will have an end. But can you understand that God has no beginning? Has anybody ever understood that God has no beginning? Before there was a beginning, before the beginning, there was God. He actually has no start date. If you go to look into the history of God, there was it was just God. Science lets us know that there must be a beginning for anything. But our God has no beginning. Now understand that in, in the science tells us that everything must have an end. But the, but, but, our, the, but our Bible lets us know that God has no end. That He will continue to go from from eternity to eternity, 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 to eternity and it will never end. That is our God. That is the God that me and you serve. So the Bible is letting us know that we must not be afraid of the powers of the world. Because the powers of the world have a start date. And they have an end date. But God has no start date. He has no end date. Every power that is stopping my progress. Every power that says that I shall not rise. Every power that is disturbing me from going into a new direction. Into a new glory. That is stopping my prayers from being answered. Because my Bible lets me know. They have a start date. And they have an end date. But God that created the heavens, He has no start date. He can never find His start. He can never find His end. And He has said that He is our God. And we are His children. And no evil shall befall my people. So let us use our mouths and pray that every power, every hand, every altar, every cause me from achieving what you have ordained for my life that wants to stop me from using my glory because they have a start date and they have an end date but because I have on my life the mark of the living God that has no start date and it has no end date not as you born only my girl to overthrow the biggest and the most powerful angel by the power which you are God Rise up and destroy every power against my life. Let us pray in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. I don't think some people are getting it. Let me explain something to you. For somebody to wage war against you, 
they means that they are great they think that they're greater than you understand this thing that those in darkness know that there is god now if you call yourself the man and the child of god that means they are they are making war against your master our our God is our King. Nobody can go into your lines. Not knowing that you have a King. For them to go into your lines. That means they have the confidence that they can overcome you and your King. But because we are celebrating the power of Holy Michael. We are going to ask God. That every power. That is way you want to get that. Because they think that they can overcome you, God. We are praying that God open the heavens. And raise down your power. The mighty right hand that you are God. And send only Michael. For our victory. Because we and you should be greater than this. So I don't know about you. They don't. Me, I've gone to different Oreo cases in Nigeria. I want to know Oreo cases in Nigeria. If you see the people that are praying, you'll be pitying them. But God is answering their prayers. Me and you are here today. And my shaka say alone. Open your heart. Do not show it. Let us pray to God. Because the Bible lets us know. Nobody knows the time and place in which God will answer your prayer. I walk up my bed. So come on, tell your prayer. Maybe because of me or you that God asks us to do this revival. That He needs there to be a new beginning. For somebody to be celebrated. So that people will see that there is God. So we're going to pray now. And then we're going to clap. We're going to pray. And then we're going to pray. That God. Every hand. That wages war. That is waging war. That is saying that I will not rise. I will not use my glory. I will not be successful. Because you are my king. And they have come into my land. They have, they have set the challenge for you, God. I have prayed to you, God. Open the heaven. And let them know that you are God. And let them know you are king. Let us pray in Jesus' mighty name. Siawu Araba Siawa